Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have some more updates on the Grimsworth eruption area, or the potential eruption that might be coming up. Uh, what we're looking at are some pictures that were, were taken by a helicopter company called uh, Atlantis Flug, and uh, they've sent that into a couple news agencies, but this is the ice shelf in Grimsvat that we're looking at here. And um, so the ice cave in Grimsvat is now sunk by apparently 3.3 meters, and Lovisa Gudmundsdottir, uh, who is a nature conservation expert at the meteorological office, said that all indications are that this glacial flooding and this uh, Jokorhloip, which I'll, I'll go into a little bit more detail on that, but the all indications are that this is going to happen and that we're just sort of building up more and more to this flood happening, which typically has triggered eruptions in this area previously. And they are saying that they did expect it to occur already, and it has taken somewhat longer than the experts initially thought. But they are saying that there has been no increase in electrical conductivity in uh, Gigius Fick or any seismic activity in the area. Now, I do have a live stream going on at the moment, so you can take a look at that if you so desire. But they do have uh, much more measuring equipment than has been in the case in previous glacier runs, so they're hoping for that. So it might be that they just have not seen the prelude to all of this so early before. But they, uh, Lovisa is saying, and quote is saying, in all likelihood there will be a glacial flood in the very near future. So let's take a look at another picture here. We can see here the same same flight company took these pictures. Um, so, you know, they are saying that the ice shelf is shrinking faster than it has been in the recent days. As I said, you know, I just posted a, a video a couple days ago. It was 1.5 meters. Now we're talking 3.3 meters. So um, it's it's interesting to see how quick it's it's progressing. Now, another bit of news is that Eilva Magnusson, who is a scientist at the Institute of Earth Sciences at the University of Iceland, went on a patrol uh, just yesterday, in fact, to Grimsvat. And it was necessary for him to do that to carry out regular monitoring of measuring equipment and ensure that everything's working as it should be. But he said that they didn't see any cracks starting to form around the lakes. And so you can see here some of the images that are coming from this flight. Uh, but they should happen soon, he says. And, and then it starts to explode around the ice cave. And he says that it's normal for this to happen when it flows out of the lakes. And, of course, water has started to flow from Grimsvat, and as far as he knows, it's reached a flow of around 200 cubic meters per second. But they're saying that this is kind of like a normal summer flow in a good glacial river, and it's not unusually high or anything like that, and they're not talking about the glacial flooding just yet. So what I want to do is actually explain what this all is. So we have an image here. Let me just zoom in so you can take a look. So, I, I only found out very recently that Jokulhleip is the official term for what's going on here. Now, if we look at this picture, and uh, we see here that there is this magma coming up underneath the ice. And what happens is it starts melting the ice, of course, and creating this flow path of meltwater, which goes down and flows out from on top of the glacier. Now, what's happening in this case, apparently, is they're not seeing this Jokulhleip happening yet. So what's most possible that's occurring is the ice is still blocked, and all of this water that's melting is accumulating in this area, which means that as soon as it does break free, that it will rush out at a much higher degree than perhaps they have seen in previous Jokulhleips. So I wanted to show you this images because I thought it was very interesting to see this in conjunction with what everyone's saying as they're they're going there and they're taking a look and they're saying you know this should have started by now the you can see here the example on this image of the drop that occurs because of the water melting and it's sort of moving and spreading across so they are saying that they are surprised it hasn't started yet but it will and uh because of the drop as you can see in the diagram. So we're, we're just waiting for that, and it could happen any day. And as I said, typically this Jokerhleip at Grimsfurt 
triggers an eruption. It doesn't every single time, so it might just occur and nothing will happen. And uh, if you look at one of my other videos, some people are saying it's a 50-50 chance. So we will see exactly what happens in the very near future. I am guessing that by the end of next week, we're going to have either Yokohlaip and an eruption, or at the very least, we will have this glacier runoff at a very high speed. So wanted to put this video out there. The drop is getting more, a little bit of an explanation on exactly what this Yokohlaip is. And uh, yeah, I thought it was interesting. I learned something new every day, and I found out that this term is a recognized term around the world, thanks to Iceland, or an Icelandic word at the very least. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little something if you're not as deep into this as perhaps some viewers. And uh, if you have any comments or any corrections that I say, of course, always put those in and I will add those to the description if, uh, if needed. I appreciate everyone's comments. So until next time, thanks so much for watching.